here at DuCoin, and that's been successful. And right now parading are the 10 finalists for that $100,000. Here's the field in the Governor's Cup. Number one, Fox Valley Admiral, on by Stanley Tarvitus and Lloyd Dalton, Illinois and Kentucky. Joe Anderson will drive. Two, Fox Valley Showboy, on by Steve Newcomb, Ron Michael on, Terry Duffy, all of Chicago, with Dave McGee. Three is Fox Valley Alex, on by Fox Valley Standard Breads of Sherman. Tony Alanya is up. Four, Brendan's Journey, owned by the OK Corral, Elmhurst, Illinois, with Tony Morgan. Five, Beware of Town, owned by Tim Town and Penske Stables, Illinois, Minnesota, Brian Penske up. Six, Gypsy Men uh, Minstrel, owned by Dr. William Hunter of Alexis, Brent Holland gets the call. Seven, Acceleration, owned by Steve Glenn Fradkin and Jim Eaton of Illinois, John Campbell in the bike. Eight, Dudley the Dragon, owned by Robert and Linda Greider, Roger and Don Sampson of Illinois, Dale Heitman will drive. Nine, Runaway Hero. On by Jack and Peggy Hood, Mystical Marker Farm, Steinbrenner Racing Stable, Indiana, Illinois, Florida, with Andy Miller. And 10, Fox Valley Ritz. Moves now to the gate rather erratically, but is there. And the 100,000 Governor's Cup, they're at the post, and the gate is rolling. And here they come. They're off and pacing from the outside. Fox Valley Ritz fires across the racetrack, and he's diving over to the rail. On the inside, Fox Valley Admiral gets away second, and Ritz left like a jet. He takes command by two lengths. On the inside, Fox Valley Admiral is second. On the outside, there goes Brendan's journey. Moving right now was third, now second, now alongside the leader. Racing four as Fox Valley Showboy as they drive to the quarter. Five on the inside. As they reach that mark will be Fox Valley Alex racing against the rail six past the quarter mile mark under the back stretch as they straighten out down the backside is Beware of Town. Front panel in a very quick 27 and 3. And they're being led now by Brendan's Journey, who made the top just past the quarter. And here comes Fox Valley Showboy off the rail and driving behind him. Moving is Fox Valley Alex, and he's alongside the leader. Showboy on the inside, Alex on the outside, Alex the new leader, Showboy second, third, Brendan's Journey, fourth on the outside, moving. Here comes Gypsy Minstrel. Racing five, Fox Valley Ritz on the outside, driving six, acceleration. They power into the upper turn, off the half and 55 and three. They're being led by a length as they drive that way by Fox Valley Alex and Tony Alanya. On the outside, the challenge comes as they race around the upper turn. As they drive now toward the three-quarter, Gypsy Minstrel is, uh, Minstrel is there second. Racing on the rail third, Fox Valley Showboy. He'll need racing room on the outside. Brendan's journey is fourth, uh, now moving three wide for Tony Morgan on the inside as they race this way. No place to go for acceleration. They turn for home. Fox Valley Alex has the lead as they're in the final eighth mile, 123-3 for three quarters. On the outside coming on in the lane, Gypsy Mistral and now fanned out five across the racetrack. There are six in contention in the lane. They drive to the wire. Showboy mounts a big drive and now here comes Fox Valley Admiral. Showboy on the inside. Admiral. Fox Valley Admiral wins it. Showboy was second. Home third was Brenda's journey. Photo for four between Fox Valley Ritz and a late rushing runaway hero. One fifty-two and four. Admiral over Showboy unofficially in the Governor's Cup for one hundred thousand dollars. Normally, Joe Anderson is listed as a trainer of these top colts he drives. Today, he is not, but he is in the bike behind. The unofficial winner of the 1998 Governor's Cup in stakes record time. Joe Anderson regarded as one of the top three or four trainers in America based on his success in Illinois and nationally. Now guides the Lloyd Dalton trained Fox Valley Admiral, still waiting for a result of the photo before it becomes official into the winner's circle. We also need a representative of Fox Valley Standard Breads for the Breeders' Awards. You will receive the Breeders' Award regard, uh, regardless of the order of finish. So someone, Doc or Pat, would you come trackside, please? Now the result is up, and it is. The Stanley Tarvitas Lloyd Dalton-owned, Lloyd Dalton-trained, Fox Valley-bred, Joe Anderson-driven, Fox Valley Admiral winning the Governor's Cup. And that presentation by Governor Jim Edgar to Lloyd Dalton for this sportsmaster from Fox Valley Biddy, herself a great race mare by Beam Ziegle. Once again, our thanks to our retiring Governor Jim Edgar. The Breeders' Trophy will go to Doc and Pat Walker.